And when you're in a camp, I would imagine that that kind of having a rigid schedule like that and having extreme discipline and having a real purpose, like when you're doing this to pray to God and you have these five prayers that you do during the day, like it keeps you on the path. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you're well. Joe Rogan, an international personality, a person with almost 17 million followers, is amazed how Muslims keep themselves acquainted with five daily prayers. Joe Rogan, who is a UFC commentator, is questioning that how Muslims are really able to pray five times a day, as if praying five times a day is much more challenging than all the fights that he saw during his career, an act that practicing Muslims perform with utmost ease. Praying five times a day may definitely sound very difficult or even impossible for some non-Muslims, but for us Muslims, it's actually a source of ease. Being in Dubai and Abu Dhabi for those five weeks, it was great for me because it was like, not an eye opener, but it was just more like refreshing because you're training and then you're here to call a prayer. So every single person, I don't care if you're the janitor or the, the, the workman or the fighter or anything, you're all going to pray at the same time. You're all shoulder to shoulder praying next to each other. Mm -hmm. And there's no like ranking in that. We're all shoulder to shoulder, we're all praying to the same God, doing the same exact thing at the same exact time. And you don't really get that kind of feeling in America. It's like if I pull out my rug to pray on the street uh, at a certain time, it's, people are looking at you weird, like, oh, what is this? Or you'll have random people just like beeping or saying stupid things mm -hmm. because they don't understand what it is. They don't understand the, the discipline it is to, all right, this is God's time now. This. We're supposed to pray five times a day. I don't care where it is. What you're doing, it needs to stop for this. And every single one of those guys had that mentality. Like, God's when you, when ahead you of all of us. When you stop to pray, how long do you stop for? Every prayer is probably like five, ten minutes long. So once you once you begin the prayer, it's 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 not that long. So like I tell people all the time where they're like, dang, you got to pray five times a day? But in the end, it's 50 minutes out of your life, 50 minutes out of your day, out of 24 hours when you waste so much time scrolling through TikTok, scrolling through the phone, things right. like that. It's like, give those 10 minutes to God. Give those 10 minutes to the person that brought you here. How does it work on a day you fight? Same thing. Uh, usually, so there's a morning prayer when you wake up in the morning prayer. Then there's afternoon. Then there's a midday prayer. And then there's a sunset prayer right when the sun sets. So usually I'm right after that prayer is the fights after that probably. And then after the fight, you pray again, your, your late night prayer. So for me also, it just holds you accountable too, to no matter what happens in the fight, whether you win or lose, I still have to, I still owe to God to, to, to pray, whether it's I'm thanking him for a win or I'm thanking him that I'm still able to pray. I'm still alive right now. Talk to God. It centers you a lot of the time too, because in those 10 minutes, you're not stressing. You're not thinking about the stress of the life. Oh, I got to, I got to get this done. I got to get this done. I got to get this done that normal people have in the work day, I think it's kind of like a meditation for me. It clears my mind, clears my head, mm -hmm. and knowing that I got it done. And at the end of the day, I know that that's the most important thing. I don't care, oh man, I forgot to do my homework. I forgot to do this. I forgot to do the stuff that I was supposed to do for work. But it's like, I did the most important things, which is pray. And when you're in a camp, I would imagine that that kind of having a rigid schedule like that and having extreme discipline and having a real purpose like when you're doing this to pray to god and you have these five prayers that you do during the day like it keeps you on the path yeah it i mean those guys this, is there's something to whatever khabib's doing that's not just technique it's not just that they have great technique it's not just that they're tough guys there's also this d devout sort of uh ideology that they've ascribed to that they that they live their life by they're they're so devout in their religious beliefs that they have so much confidence it's almost like that's all taken care of like they can just concentrate on on what they do yeah like that all you know god has a plan for everything you don't have to like have this existential angst that a lot of people roll around through life with yeah we have a thing called tawakka that means like god's will so whatever his will is, that's what it is. So you could sit there and train and be super stressed out and like, am I going to win or am I going to lose this fight? It's like, you just tell yourself, whatever God's will, that's what's meant to be. It's a blessing 
that has been bestowed upon us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we Muslims are too busy, then one may surely think that it's really hard to pray five times a day with a busy schedule. In reality, praying five times a day make a busy day easy. It's not a burden upon us Muslims. Rather, it is actually ease as described by our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Abdullah bin Muhammad reported, My father and I departed to see our father-in-law from the Ansar, visiting him as he was ill. The time for prayer arrived and he said to some of his relatives, Young lady, bring me water for ablution that I might pray and be comforted. We objected to that from him, but he said, I heard the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam say, Stand, O Bilal, and comfort us with the prayer. The daily prayers are a gift given to the mankind through Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam on the miraculous journey of Mi'raj. Prophet peace be upon him were given three things in ascension. He was given five daily prayers, the last part of the chapter of Al-Baqarah, Aman al-Rasul, and the promise that the sins of the people from the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam would be forgiven except those who died associating partners with Allah. So it is not at all a difficulty, a burden, a task, which has to be completed just because we have to. It is indeed a gift, an opportunity to us Muslims to talk to our Rabb. Not only it is a blessing for us, but also a source of immense reward. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stated, O Muhammad, these prayers need to be performed five times a day. However, there are 10 rewards for each prayer. It means 50 prayers. This is how important is Salah for us. When we read the Salah, we are not only praying or uttering Quranic verses, but we are constantly conversing with our Creator. Salah is a way of expiation of sins. It prohibits evil and immoral deeds. On the day of Qiyamah, Salah is the first thing that will be asked about. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "The first thing for which a person will be brought to account on the day of judgment will be his salat. If it is found to be complete, then it will be recorded as complete. And if anything is lacking, he will say, 'Look and see if you can find any voluntary prayers with which to complete what he neglected of his obligatory prayers. Then the rest of his deeds will be reckoned in like manner." May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those whose namaz is perfect and on time. May Allah make us among those who act as examples for the non-Muslims and act as da'wah through our salah and acts. Ameen. That's it for today, brothers and sisters. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, Share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.